Thanks for being here with me, guys. I have a bit of a different setup today. I'm just testing it out. I'm in my room. And I was just like, maybe we could do like a little like creamy curtain backdrop. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> is this working? I don't know. I got my notes ready. We are discussing short girl fashion. I have five points, kind of six, but like we'll make it five. I'll give you a two in one because that's what I like to do. I like to give you guys bonuses. We're gonna talk about the best ways to dress for the petite girly, the best ways to work with what your mama gave you. So today, as you know, we're talking about short girl fashion. I'm so excited to make this video for you because it's a video that I'm passionate about. It's a topic that I always want to get into. And today's video is brought to you by Vici and it's so perfect because the items that I'm going to show you are just so great for the petite girly, really for any size, but I do want to show you examples of things to wear for the petite girly and these are really great options. So I wanna start really strong with what I'm wearing right now. I am in love with this outfit. I cannot tell you how much I love both this knit and this bi-color denim cropped white and light blue, so cute. This is something you're gonna see me wearing a lot. How many times have I said, I love me a set, a one and done. What is better than a comfortable sweatsuit that doesn't really look like a sweatsuit? I mean, you can tell it's a sweatsuit, but it's a stylish sweatsuit. It's a corset and then a relaxed fitting pair of sweatpants with the ties on the side. It is so cool, so comfortable, so stylish. I am in love with this set. Now, this knit dress is so perfect. It has a really high slit, so it's very, sexy, but it's also very, very cute and stylish and feminine. You're golden. And now this dress. Okay. I put this on and I was like, how is this so affordable? I mean, everything here is really giving bougie on a budget. This is thick, it's quality, it's compressing, like it's really beautiful in the body. This dress is amazing, like absolutely so wonderful for any occasion you have coming up. LBD, you cannot go wrong. I love this outfit paired together. I mean, cargos are so trendy. We've been talking about them for a few seasons now. I love the different variations we're seeing, like this satin pair, straight leg, you know. It's just such an easy way to be stylish. You guys know the tea. I got a discount code for you. It's on the screen. It's in the description box, including every link to everything I'm wearing today. Don't say your fashion mom doesn't hook you up. I love you, kids. Let's just start with number one. So I wanna talk about cropped denim. And I feel like this is something that a lot of petite girls avoid. A lot of short girls, no matter the body shape, a lot of short girls I see always say that they need to avoid a cropped jean because it shortens the leg and they feel like they have to have a pant or a denim that goes to the ankle or longer to elongate the leg. The truth of the matter is that wearing a cropped denim does not necessarily make you look shorter. It can if that's what you're trying to do, but we're not trying to do that and I'm gonna show you how we're not doing that with a crop denim. So the first thing you need to consider with any pair of pants or denim or whatever is the waist. Now, of course, most of us these days do wear a higher waist denim because that's just what's trending and it's just very readily available for us. But there are extra high rises and just general high rises, right? In all types of pants. If you really wanna look like your legs are longer and give off just like a taller silhouette, you're probably gonna wanna opt for an extra high rise pant. I personally don't need an extra high rise because I think I can achieve this with a simple pair of heels. I think the best way to do this is with like a stiletto high heel sandal, obviously a nude. And I don't want to talk about a lot of things that we've talked about so many times, but I do love a good nude sandal, something that's just gonna like elongate your leg, right? Cause you're wearing a cropped pant so you can see the ankle and the nude shoe kind of just blends with your foot and like elongates the leg. I think you can definitely achieve this with a black or a fun pop of color kind of sandal, but this is definitely going to give you that longer look with a cropped denim. Now the style of the pants also make a difference, right? I don't think as a short girl, that we should wear if we want to look taller, okay? If you love looking short, wear this, girl. Like, just wear it. I don't, I don't personally care. I'm not wearing it, though, because I know I look like three foot six. There's nothing wrong with that. I just personally don't want to look three foot six. So I'm not going to wear 
a super baggy like palazzo crop pair of pants like i bought a pair once i don't know what i was thinking they looked so good on the model so i was like yeah i could rock that i'll pull that off like a wide leg cropped like Oh man. And they were high-waisted too. Nothing could help me. Nothing could salvage it. Not the vibe. So when we're doing a crop pant, it really should be a straight leg, slightly relaxed, or even, dare I say, a skinny. Doesn't have to be so skinny like painted onto your leg, but a straight leg. Much like these pants that I'm wearing by Vici, which are so great. Like this is such a great cut. These are high-waisted. They're a straight leg. They're not baggy. They are not too tight, which is simply just a longer and ever so slightly taller look. Like we're not here to like do magic. I'm not gonna suddenly look like I'm 5'10 on a runway, but if I look maybe like an inch taller than I already am, I'm doing great. Stick with me, your fashion mom, I got you. Now on the topic of wide leg pants, let's talk about wide leg pants because I did say I'm not gonna buy a pair of cropped wide legs, which I'm not. I will buy a pair of wide legs period. Just not cropped. You know how I'm buying my wide legs? Long. Long. And guess what? We're not hemming them. And yes, of course, we're all different. Maybe if you're four foot ten, you might need to hem them a bit. But the main takeaway when I say we're not hemming them is that you want to wear a super high heel, specifically a platform chunky heel, because that is what's going to take up that kind of like that volume space at the bottom of that wide leg and is going to give you that illusion of a much longer leg and you're going to look way taller, guaranteed. This is going to deceive people. This is going to make people think you're a 5'10 runway model. Yes, this is full on deception and I'm okay with it. I am absolutely okay with it because this really does give you that long and lean statuesque look. Like you just look so tall, your legs look so long. Who doesn't want to look taller who's grown up their whole life being five foot three that's me i want to look five eight of course i do so this is the way that i achieve that which brings me to my next point which is kind of our two in one here and that goes for flares and bell bottom now a flare you might not be able to pull off like a big chunky heel if it's like just a little flare but a bell bottom it's the exact same concept of a wide leg pant. The good thing about a bell bottom is that again, you can go with like a super high waist. It's tight in the thighs and the butt, which kind of shows your body shape and really gives you that long lean look. And it doesn't matter if you're top heavy, pear shaped, you're still going to get this effect. You need that big chunky platform with that long, bell bottom or flare pant because that's what's gonna give you that super, super tall look. I'm telling you guys, this is guaranteed. I live by this. I can't tell you how many people I finesse with these looks and people are like, oh my God, I can't believe you're only 5'3". And even when I meet people in real life, people that follow me and they're like, oh my gosh, fashion mom, you're so small in real life. You're so petite. I'm like, I know because I fake it. That's how I do it. It is foolproof. This is guaranteed. Number four, let's talk skirts and dresses, okay? This is really an important point and might be controversial, but it's actually really simple and it should not be controversial. The key is wear shorter skirts. Now, if you're following me on TikTok or Instagram, you may have seen me discuss this in my recent video because I think it is such a good tip for us petite girlies. Wear shorter skirts and shorter dresses. The reason is the shorter your skirt is, the longer your legs will appear. If you're wearing a skirt just above the knee or, you know, a few inches above the knee, it's, you know, kind of corporate and kind of conservative. It's just, it's just not going to be the vibe, really. I mean, if you're going to court, fine. But like, listen, if you're trying to look like good and you want to feel yourself, you're going on a night out, girl, hike that shit up. Seriously, just hike that shit up. Let's just not pretend, okay? Listen, there is a limit how short you should go. Should it be up your tush? No. But like, you know, I'm right about, you know, like show the leg, show the leg. And winter is a great time for this because you can really go short. You can rock a pair of tights and then it's a little less risque, you know? It's like you're wearing tights. You can 
you know, really, really like it. That's what I do. And that's how I look taller. That's how I look taller in skirts and dresses. I like them short just because I know that it's gonna make my legs look longer. That's a look that I definitely want to achieve when I'm wearing a skirt or a dress. Number five is going to go to avoiding oversized clothing. Now this is controversial because I'm gonna tell you right now, I don't follow this rule because I like to prioritize my comfort and I will always choose comfort. <laughs> That's what I do. If I'm going out, listen, beauty is pain. If I'm going out, oftentimes I'm wearing a pair of jeans that might be, you know, pretty tight, not the most comfortable. Like fashion isn't always the most comfortable. Even wearing a full face of makeup is annoying, right? But you gotta do what you gotta do. However, I will definitely leave the house in oversized clothing, but if you don't want to look super short, because this really does make me look like a, a blob of short, you know what I mean? That, it's, it's just what it is. I will wear an oversized t-shirt with sweatpants and Uggs, okay? That's like the opposite, opposite of what you should do if you wanna look taller. The Uggs cut off my my leg in by a third. The sweatpants are baggy and make me look like this. The oversized t-shirt, like it's really giving middle school supremacy. That's what it is. So you do you. I'm just saying like, if you don't want to, then don't. I do, I do want to. But a way to get around this, okay, you can rock a sweatpant, of course. If you wanna look like less like sloppy and also less short, a tighter, more fitted shirt on top because then you can see the waist. You could pull the sweatpants up high. You can wear a running shoe or even like a shorter like ankle Ugg kind of boot. And you're gonna be making it a lot more flattering for your body and looking a lot better and taller, of course. And on the other hand, if you wanna wear something kind of loose in the top, especially if, you know, some people are more top heavy, they wanna cover on top, some people are more bottom heavy, they wanna cover on the bottom. If you wanna wear something loose on the top, I would say maybe rock it with a legging. And that's how you're gonna kind of avoid that. Same thing goes with the footwear, you know. Those are the ways you're gonna avoid looking like a middle school Stanley Cup toting Sephora obsessed lunatic. That's, yeah, th that's it. Yeah, no, it just, it ends there. And last for today, we've got the blazer. I just wanted to give the blazer its own moment and its own personal discussion for this list because blazers, especially nowadays, come in all different shapes and sizes and lengths and every single one is important to consider when you're a petite girl. The length of the blazer, the cut of the blazer, and the style of the blazer. These are all different things, right? You can have a boxy cut that goes in at the waist. You can have a longer blazer. You can have an overall oversized blazer. You can have a slim kind of fitted blazer, which used to be the vibe and it seems to be trickling back into fashion over the last season. And that's something that will take time. Right now it's still kind of about the oversized blazer really dominating fashion, right? Which might suck for the petite girl because you might feel like I can't wear an oversized blazer because you know, it'll just drown me. It can, it definitely can. But again, it's all about how you style it. If you're rocking an oversized blazer, with a pair of super baggy jeans and like a pair of flats and like a t-shirt, yeah, it's not gonna be good. It's not gonna flatter you at all. It's definitely not gonna make you look taller. It's gonna make you look much shorter. If you're wearing an oversized blazer with a fitted outfit underneath and perhaps a belt to kind of emphasize the waist and give the illusion of a longer leg, then you're gonna look a little bit taller and you're still gonna have that vibe of the oversized blazer if you like that style of fashion. I think that the absolute best blazer period for the petite girly is the cropped blazer. It can be cropped and big and boxy or it can be cropped and fitted, it doesn't matter. It's just the cropped blazer. That is the elite blazer for the petite girly and I'm gonna tell you why. I have so many different blazers, they're not all the best for my frame. I still will wear them because I love them and that's just kind of how I wear fashion. You know, like I wear what I love even if sometimes it might not be the best for me. I always try and style it in a way that I make it the best, you know what I mean? But I don't let it get in my way of getting to what I love, you know what I mean? When it comes to the crop blazer, it's so important to keep this in mind because when you're wearing a blazer, that comes above your waist or to your waist, you are automatically going to appear to have much longer legs because a crop blazer can be up here. And I'm not talking about like a belly top of a blazer, but even if you're wearing like a tank top underneath with a pair of 
fitted denim, even like what I'm wearing right now, that is going to make you look much taller than a blazer that comes to here. I would say this is the worst cut for me for a blazer, a blazer that comes right to here, the middle of my hips, because that is cutting me off in the worst way. It's cutting my legs off, my hips off. It's making my waist look like you don't know where it is, where it starts. And it's not giving me a longer torso. It's just giving me like an overall shorter look. Like I just think that is so unflattering. Also for me particularly, my widest point are my hips, right? So I go out at my hips so that it's just not flattering for my body nor my height. However, a crop blazer, a blazer that comes to my waist or above my waist is going to give me the illusion of a longer leg. It's just science, you know what I mean? And the good news is that crop blazers are so in fashion. They're kind of always in fashion. I feel like there's always a variation you can find because women like us come in all different shapes and sizes and we all have different wants and needs. That's why we have so many great options when it comes to the wide world of fashion, specifically with blazers. It's important to know what works for not only our height, but also our body shape. Now, another really great blazer, if you are gonna go for one that kind of cuts around here, is a fitted blazer because that's something that's probably gonna cinch you in the waist. So you're still going to get that waistline that shows where your waist is and your legs start, right? So that is a better option for a blazer that will come till here. But a boxy blazer or kind of like a shapeless blazer that comes right till here, that's not gonna do anything for your body. And that's pretty much it. That wraps up today's video for short girl fashion. I have a lot more tricks up my sleeve. So if you want me to do like a part two or any other things you want me to cover when it comes to dressing for our bodies, I'm happy to do that. Let me know in the comments. You guys know I love hearing from you. I really hope you enjoyed today's video and I cannot wait to see you in my next video. So until next time, bye for now.